This is a possible part two review of the rest of my apps on my iPhone. These are mostly games, utilities, and other type of uh, app you, that you might think of. Okay, I've reorganized them into uh, games, utilities, and, well, social networking apps. Now, let's get started. First off is Sonic the Hedgehog. As you suspected, yeah, it's regular old Sonic the Hedgehog from the Sega Genesis with all its 16-bit goodness. Even has the old Sega thing. But it's all touch interface now. You can uh, choose from continue, new game, adjust volume, help, or more games. Let's go on new game, just for a demonstration. As you suspected, this is emulated, so you might get a little lag here and there. And if you... I'm not too good at the touch version, as you, if you, as you saw. So yeah. I'm not used to, to the controls on the touch version. I'm more used to using a controller. Okay. Brick, uh, breakout, the free version. And this is basically like a t uh, angled 3D version of uh, Breakout with uh, power-ups such as the gun, the laser, the mine. That's the main, that's the guy, or whatever. Class, I, I like to do classic mode. Shut up. Okay, so it's pretty much straightforward. You uh, either use the arrows on the side here, or you use the little paddle, or you touch it and drag it, sort of like this. Yeah, I can't see, so since the screen is so bright, I have to pay attention. Oh, we have a power-up right here. It's the mine. We, The power-ups are the mine, the laser, the guns, unstoppable, which is your make, makes your ball catch on fire, and, the, of course, the extra lives. Yeah, so we're done with that. Next is Beer Pong. Everybody's favorite game to play when they're drunk. So basically, you hold the get the uh, your iPod or iPhone like this. Takes a minute, and basically you try to get the the ping pong ball and the cups. It, depending on what angle you're tilting your iPhone at, it goes at different angles, such as, and if you hold the ball, you can see where it's going. Okay. Next is good old Tetris. As you suspected, it's just Tetris except touch interface. Created by EA Games, one of the big developers of sports games, so you know it has to be good. Loading doesn't take too long. What's cool about this version of Tetris is that you can use your iPod with it, or the iPod section of it, so you can uh, use your custom songs and other stuff like that. We have Marathon, Magic, Statistics, Options, and Help. We're going to go with Marathon just for a quick demonstration. Here, you can choose the level as well. I'm, gonna do, I'm just going to do level 1. Skip the tutorial. We all know how to play. Here we go. So yes, you basically drag the blocks with your finger, shove them down like this, and you touch them once or twice to get it in the correct position of your choice as well. And you just uh, sl slowly drag it down if you want to, um, well, match it in a certain way. Alright. And now for the famous Metal Gear Touch Light. As you s this is a complete port off of uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 for the PlayStation 3, except it's an uh, arcade-style um, shoot-em-up. Start. It has all the acts. Well, obviously, this is the light version, so it's got Liquid Sun instead. It takes a minute for it to load. It goes through the dialogue and storyline, yada, 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 yada. We all know the story. This is basically the main loading screen. It's just some advice. And here we go. Now the power-ups in this thing are uh, either distributed by the little frog toy and the uh, health rege regains are distributed by the little the, uh, the duck. Your main weapon is the M4 and your sniper is the uh, SDV and uh, you get an RPG later on in the game too. This is one of my favorite games for the iPhone. It, it, it gives me the certain urge to play Metal Gear Solid 4, the real version, too. 
every time I play this. I just love the sound of the N4. Okay, enough of this. Next, we have Bejeweled 2. As you suspected as well, this is a complete port off the Xbox 360 slash PS3 version as well. Because the announcer is the same, the music is kind of the same, and it's got some of the same modes, like classic, action, and endless. What bothers me most about the classic, or the game in general, is when you run out of moves. You barely even notice if you are going to run out of moves or not, so let's just uh, do a quick quickie here. What's cool about this game is you can tilt it to the side as well. Awesome, isn't it? I am a master at this game. I, it's absolutely addicting as well. Four in a row creates a super jewel, and five in a row creates a hyper jewel, which destroys any any other jewel of the same color. And the uh, super jewels just make the other jewels explode and get you more points. So yeah, love this game. One of my favorites out of the, any puzzle game. Now for the uh, utility applications. This is the gun app. As you. Yeah, it's based off of guns. You get various guns with this app. Uh, going back here. Come on. Yeah, this thing has a horrible touch interface. Go back. Thank you. Okay, top to bot, top to side. M16, MP5, AK74U, Springfield, MP40, M9, I suspect, uh... Desert Eagle, Mac, C4, Grenade, Knife, Revolver, uh, Shotgun, another Shotgun, don't know the names of them, uh, Paintball Gun, German Weapon of some sort, don't know the name, another Gun, another Sniper, a Crossbow, and your Finger, I haven't, I haven't seen this one yet. Bang! 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 Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Okay, Lightsaber. Off of Star Wars Forced Unleashed, you can customize the lightsaber and make it your own. Plus, if you touch the glowing stars in the background, your you get quotes from Star Wars The Force Unleashed. And it works like this, you can either touch the lightsaber or touch the lightsaber symbol down here. It also comes with music. Yeah, another one of my favorite apps too. The dinner app. Now this one costs like one dollar, but it's an okay thing if you're confused on what to go for dinner. Now, what I you can um you can choose a, a, from a list of restaurants or put in your own, and then it you can shake it, either press this or shake your iPod, and then it choose. For some reason, it never stops, so I have to do it manually. And then you stop it, and then it choose. Whatever restaurant it lands on, you just go to it, or you can map it or email it. Simple enough. And here's a new one, the Rickroll app. It, as you suspected, yes, I keep saying that, this is a map to rip, Rickroll your, your friends. So, let's see. The thing is, you uh, choose a game, Deep Space Massacre I'm going to go with. They'll think, you're going to go, hey, look at my new game. Cool, can I try it out? Sure. Ah, you got Rick rolled. See? Flashlight app. Simple flashlight with a simple white screen, although there are more with it. Like, uh, let's see. Turn on special effects. On, done. You can customize the screen from red. Go up on the left here. Special effects to get people's attention. Don't really use them too much. Red, green, blue, black. Don't I don't know why they put this in here. And yeah, it's a good app to have in, in handy. This one's a new one. This one's a one that cost me about one nine dollars as well, or I don't remember. It's I am plus. This is a good messenger to have on your side at times. I can't seem to get Skype to work on here though. So far, I've been able to use AIM, Yahoo, MSN. Uh, yeah, there we go. MSN, Facebook, and a whole bunch of others around here. So yeah. Let's see, Facebook requires your da 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 da. Hold on a sec.